Hello everyone, welcome back. We're gonna be shooting the SCAR at 550 yards. Uh, we've got a uh, ACOG here with a three and a half magnification. I already did a video where I, sh I shot this at 200 yards. Uh, I got five out of five shots for one and a half MOA, uh, and then four out of five for one MOA. Okay, that was at 200 yards. Uh, so the, the question here now is gonna be, so the issue here is now is at 550 yards. Um, are we, you know, are we able gonna are gonna be able to see the target? Well, we can see the target, but are we gonna be able to um, spot the impacts? Okay, because um, this reticle here, I haven't used it before at this distance. I kind of think I know where I should I should hold. Uh, put you on the target. It's, it's it's like a 25 pound target. So at 550 yards, even the 308 really struggles to knock it over uh, a lot of times i can see the uh like there will be a delay after the impact let me zoom you guys in uh, oh there they go all right so over there where it says i think it says 10 over there the rams okay so we're shooting at nine and ten all right, so that's those rams over there. Uh, let's see if we can get on them and knock a few over. The impact. I know I got an impact because I got hurt at that time, but it's just it's not knocking it over. Let's go to a different one. Maybe we'll find one that's sitting a little bit differently. Hearing impacts, but nothing's going over. Oh, there we go, we got one over. <laughs> so, yeah, these 308s on these 25 pound targets, I mean, at 550 yards, I mean, they're struggling to push them over because I heard a couple of impacts before and, and, and they didn't fall. Hitting it, or are they going? Let's load up another mag. Pull a little bit more left. I think the bullet might also be pushing a little bit to the to the right. To hold left a little bit more. I didn't hear impact on the left too. See, here's a part of the problem with the three X with, with the three and a half magnification is that I can't like I see the the dust cloud, but I don't see. Like I see dust cloud, but I don't know if it's a splash or if it's just like a dust cloud. Because even if it hits the target, like a lot of times I'll see splatter off the target. It's kind of hard to tell. I, I just don't have ma enough magnification to know exactly what's going on out there.
of the dust cloud. And I think it's hitting him. It's just not pushing him over. I gotta hit him a couple of times before they actually go over. Yeah, it took two hits to put that one over. Shot. So a lot of times it depends on and how it's sitting on the on the on the stand. And let me zoom you guys back and we'll talk about it. Okay, great. You got you guys zoom back. So we, so we did get a couple of those targets. Those targets are heavy, like twenty five pounds, um, and uh, a lot of times. Like it'll take a couple of hits to actually push them over. Uh, but the thing is, like with the three X magnification, it's it's hard to tell. It's like, okay, am I actually hitting it, or am I because because on all those shots I saw like a dust cloud, but I don't know if that dust because the targets themselves have some dust on it. So I don't know if that dust cloud is from the impact and and the splatter, or if it's like just a little bit off to the side. Um, so I mean, the scar is definitely capable because. I mean, 308 is just going to do 308 stuff, okay? Um, the uh, one, of, one of the issues I'm having with the ACOG, like I had to dim this down because otherwise it was like I put this tape here to like just bring down the brightness. The holding lines, okay, um, are really, really thin, okay? And um, what I'm finding is that 550 yards, like I know exactly what my hold is because I can see the, uh, the, the impacts and the impacts are going exactly there's like a little four mark right there right there's a little four there with a little hash um on it but the problem is it's like so thin that it's like i'm struggling to like find it and get it on the target now normally if you have like a, an lpvo that has magnification like especially if it's first focal plane as you zoom up the lines become thicker right so when you zoom back they're thinner but then if you go for more magnifications, the lines become a little bit thicker. So you can kind of get them exactly where you want. Like if they're a little too thick, you can zoom back a little bit, like, you know, get less magnification and they'll get a little bit thinner. If you need the lines, the holding lines a little bit thicker, you zoom up and they get thicker. So with the fixed, um, with this fixed a three and a half, right, the, those little lines are like, it, it, it's, it's right there. Like I, I know exactly what my holding point is, but... I'm just having a hard time holding on. Now those are all black targets. So you got a black line on black targets uh, and the black line is really thin, okay? Um, but that's a common scenario, like, because it's very, like, like I'm wearing a black sweater today. So, so, so having, like, yeah, if the targets were white, it would, have, it would be easier. Uh, but because they're black and you got a black hash mark, then yeah, they're a little bit harder, but that's a realistic scenario. Like you got somebody dressed in black, that's what you gotta deal with. So, I mean, the 308 is just doing 308 stuff, right? It doesn't matter, you know, that the scar is doing its job, no question. But uh, we, I mean, basically the ACOG is like, you know, in three and a half magnification. I mean, I don't think it's like the best tool for trying to hit uh, 550 yards, okay, um, on a man size target. You know, maybe on something bigger, it wouldn't be an issue. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm having an issue with, I'm just losing my holding point on the target because it's so thin and small. Um, and now I think the, the ACOG is, because it's like super bright, if you take the tape off, it's like super bright. I think it's like more of a two to three hundred yard, you know, tool, you know, that's where it, where it really shines. So if I'm trying to shoot at 500 yards, you know, I think like, I mean, it's got the holding points, but I think we're really pushing it uh, past what, what I, you know, I think it's, it was really set up to do. Now, interestingly enough, if I look at this ACOG, uh, just looking at the aim point, like I'm using the 4 and it looks like it goes all the way down to 10, 12, 14. I mean, I could shoot all the way to, I, I could shoot all the way to, 
thousand yards, right? Because I got fourteen. I, I think they're mills uh, because they seem to be running pretty close to what's on my mill scope. So it seems to go all the way out to fourteen mills. Uh, but again, I got a magnification problem here that if I can't spot the impacts, the best I can do is maybe put suppression fire out there. So, but yeah, I mean we we got hits at five hundred fifty yards. Um, now the other thing with the scar is these. Like, because you might say, well, what if you take off the ACOG and you put a different optic on here so that you can see at further distances more comfortably? Uh, scars are known for breaking optics, right? They have very harsh recoil. And I do have the, 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 um, the gas valve set to the uh, to suppressor, right? So I'm, even though there's no suppressor on this, I am shooting this in the suppressor position. Uh, and the recoil on this, uh, it's like, poof. I mean, it's, it's, it's like... It really punches you, you know. It's uh, it, it's and it's sharp. It's like because I have my AR-10 here, I'm shooting that. Uh, with that, I got a gas down. I got a heavy buffer spring in there, a heavy buffer weight. So that 308 recoil is being spread out over a longer time, basically, right? You got a lot of things, you know, less gas, and then you got heavy buffer spring, heavy buffer weight. Um, so so it's more spread out. With this, it's like really sharp. It's like pow. You know, it's just like a really sharp impact. So, uh, it's just uh, interesting. You know, so again, this is my uh, first time. This is really my second day shooting at distance with this. I went from 200 yards to now I'm on the 1,000 yard range. Um, I, you know, I like I said, so I wanna, now here's the thing from 550 yards, this thing jumps straight up to 850 yards. I'll probably take a couple of hits on target, but I can't spot the impacts. I think I'm kind of wasting money, man, because if I don't know where the impacts are going, it's hard for me to adjust. I know from my, um, when I was shooting the 16-inch uh, AR-10, I my hold was about, I think, uh, about 11 mils at, at the 850 yards. So I, I, I'll, I'll kind of take a stab at the dark, hold, just using the same holds, uh, and we'll see if I can get some hits.